Hey guys, I just want to do a quick video. Um, this is a, a pretty nice quad I've actually been working on for a while now. And uh, it's a uh, Howl frame, a Hobby King Howl frame, which by the way, these are awesome frames for the price. They are really, really good. Um, pretty light, good size. Everything's made really well. Uh, easy replacement parts. Super cheap, super, super cheap. But um, what I've got here is a DT 750s, kind of a, a classic motor. They don't work all that great with these motor mounts, but they do work if you want them to. Um, this is my DJI NASA board, which is a pretty awesome board. Um, yeah, really awesome, but very expensive with the GPS. Like, really, really overpriced. But it's one of the few things on the market that you get the uh, the amount of features you do for the price. And then the kicker is these are my HexFET. 25 amp ESCs and the thing that's really unique about them is you can see from the side I had to I cut them open um, the thing that's unique about them is I flashed them with uh, the Simon K firmware so they're actually um, a significantly quicker refresh rate and because of that I was actually able to put the um, I was able to kick the gains up in the NASA significantly, and uh, it flies really freaking well, really freaking well. So I just wanted to kind of do a quick little video. Let's see, it's got to grab all the satellites. Pretty clear sky, not a whole lot around, so it shouldn't take too long. But um, flip it into manual mode and try it out. I just readjusted some of the gains here. manual mode surprisingly maneuverable in manual mode locks into its orientation that's the sign of a well-adjusted board you let go and it holds now let's go into go. Here is, I'm in 50% uh, throttle, so altitude hold and attitude hold. So this is basically auto level. So I push forward, let go, it does that, let go. It's only that snappy because those ESCs refresh so quickly. Look at how fast that is. This is me, like, snapping the controls. Keep in mind, this is not GPS. This is just attitude and altitude. It looks like I've got all my satellites. There we go. There's GPS mode. Bring it out in front here. Surprisingly snappy, but kind of cool. You can drag it away from its location, and uh, hopefully, without hitting cars, it returns to normal. Yeah, it's cruising back in there. Let's see here. So GPS is locked. I still have a little bit of drift with yaw. So when I yaw it, it tries to move a touch like that right there. This is right hand off. Full yaw. I'm controlling a little bit of altitude here just to make sure I don't go into the cars, but that's Actually pretty minimal drift considering. And I think it's just a uh, declination, a declination adjustment. All right, now let's try 
home lock. This is where I can flip a switch, go into home lock. There we go, home lock. So now no matter what I do, like I'll turn it. Okay, so right there. So it's, it's kind of trippy because I'm not standing at the home position, but right now forward is that way, but I push forward and it goes away from the home point. If I pull back, no matter where I am in 360 degrees, it comes home. So watch. I'm going to keep spinning here. Forward, back, forward, back, forward. Notice how it's always going the same direction, no matter what my orientation is. Forward, back. All right, my battery's actually gonna go here soon. Take it off a of home lock. There we go. So all that red blinking, that was a uh, combination of being in home lock and um, it telling me my battery's starting to go down. I don't think this one was fully charged. But, let me flip into manual. I think I'll need a little more throttle. There we are. All right, so now manual mode. It doesn't have that return. This time I let go and it holds its position. It also doesn't have the uh, altitude change. So I can fully adjust my altitude by regulating my throttle. Whereas in altitude hold or attitude hold and GPS hold, what you actually do is you put your throttle at 50%. So, let me do that again, here we go. There we go. So, I'm in GPS lock. My throttle's at 50%. I'm gonna take, <coughs> put my transmitter down. Too bad. Battery's starting to go. So what it'll do is it'll sort of auto land. It's not something you really want to do unless you know you're over grass. But um, as you can see, transmitter's on the ground. Battery's going down. It's in full GPS mode. And uh, hopefully it'll stay over the grass when it decides to land because it doesn't come down all that easy. It's not hard, but it's not easy. It's certainly something I wouldn't want to do unless I had to with uh, a camera rig underneath it. There it goes. Ta-da! Yep. So, I thought you guys might enjoy that. Just another one of my quick builds. This is all done with parts, by the way. I didn't buy anything for it. Not at least for this resurrection of the parts. I already had the motors, had the speed controls, flashed those, and um, had the NAS on my hex. And uh, kind of regret taking it off the hex, but you know, you got the parts, you might as well screw around with them. Every time you build something, you learn it anyway. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a great day. Thumbs up and subscribe. See ya.